This is the Muckleshoot tribe that has been doing this um, here at uh, Keita Creek. They open the gate, and when they open the gate, all the fish just start climbing through. This is a ladder that goes up into the runways and the raceways. We put over a billion dollars into this system to see these fish return. And the focus here is making sure none of these salmon go to waste. All of them are going to be used. Louis Angaro, so Muckleshoot Tribal with, Council uh, member, says it's critical to consider what's at stake. According to Feeding America, in Washington, more than 197,000 children are dealing with food insecurity. That represents nearly 12% of youth in the state. It's sad. It's sad that in America we have that. It's sad that we have that in the state of Washington. I just feel bad for the kids that have to experience something like that. It's, and we should, we should be, we should be able to do better for them. Muckleshoot tribal member Valerie Seagrest saw a solution. I knew that all these salmon were coming back, our fishermen were having really successful runs. She says she wanted to see that food reach the people who needed it the most, and that led to a partnership between the Muckleshoot tribe and Seattle Public Schools, a district already on a mission to serve locally sourced food and school meals. And it was really a, a beautiful thing to see that come together. Angara was there to witness this moment in May. The collaboration between the city and the Muckleshoot tribe led to the purchase of 3,000 pounds of sustainable local salmon served to students in Seattle public schools. And to be able to harvest that and feed people right here locally is what's going to continue to strengthen a food system and keep it secure and rich and build a strong economy here. And that's what it's going to take to really address hunger. The answers lie here in tribal food communities. We're going to be here in another 100 generations. Near Auburn. And hopefully our salmon will be too. Natalie Swaby, King 5 News.